Well, I'm in a 7 Series BMW Individual F01. I weren't going to actually video this, but it seems like it could be something quite tasty because the steering's rock hard and it's got a raft of warning lights. Check it out. Hear me sighing. This is just typical of sort of stuff I get, really. Steering, drive moderately. Steering, continue at a moderate speed. Brakes. Restraints. Chassis. Barking. <laughs> this is just typical of my type of bloody stuff, isn't it? Well, you can imagine this is going to be a big job, isn't it? Let's get it in workshop. Drive train. Got full bloody package, this, of bloody problems. This handbrake won't bloody come off. The handbrake won't come off, what? Well, that's not good, is it? I was going to say in my hand here, there's 400 fault codes, but there's about 300 fault codes. Let's make it more dramatic. There we are. Yeah, really, there's that many fault codes, but guess what? I've been on the job one hour and I've solved it, I think. And you're going to be amazed. This is the most stupid design. It's a typical engineer design. You know I don't like engineers. They're clever, but sometimes they're not very clever. Sometimes they make silly decisions and silly mistakes. So they've included on Fuse F2, which is blown by the way, a mistake. And that mistake is including the door handles of the vehicle, comfort access, on the same fuse supply for all four handles as all the critical safety systems. Steering rack, DSC module, everything. Active cruise, everything. Let's check out how I found the fault and how I'm gonna fix it. So pin 25, pin one's okay. Third power supply is that red one, pin seven. It's dead as a doornail, so that's not good, is it? I'm not even gonna check out else. I'm just gonna go straight to that. So up there, because obviously, instead of going behind the glove box, is a complete waste of time. Clearly, because that's just for people blowing the cigarette lights with their iPhones. We've pulled the panel off underneath, and just up there now, there's a five amp fuse. You can't see much of it, but I'm gonna test it now. Let's see if we can get it on camera. I guarantee it's blown. Absolutely guarantee it's blown. In fact, I'm 100% positive it's gonna be blown. Sorry about the camera action. I'm not a professional. I try my best though. Right, fuse number two is this one. Feed in. Is okay. Bloody wiring way there, bugger off. Get out my way, bloody thing. Right, let's try that again, guys and gals. There's a few girls watching my channel, a few women as well. We need what more women in this game. Women make women make better fault finders than men. There you are, 14 in. What have we got out? Not a bloody sausage, because BMW designed this mar marvelous system. In that, if the fuse goes for the handles, all your bloody car shuts down, literally. Right, let's change that, and if it's a dead shot, it'll pop, and then I have to take every handle off one by one by one to see which one is causing the shorts, because they're all connected. Another brilliant idea. Uh, let's get a new fuse in, see if it pops right away, yeah? Oh. It's actually the wrong size, that's seven and a half, but never mind. Right, let's recheck this wire now. This is our Terminal 30, what was dead. And I think we've got cons now. Oh, look. So we just need to work out why the door handle, or which door handle is got water in and which door handle is shorting out. So what we'll do, we'll just put that back on now on the DSC module. And then erase the codes and set up the steering system and to isolate the uh, dodgy door, door handle first off. Done. So you can actually see that was the main problem. There's a lot of control units on this particular car. It's a fully loaded 7 series, so you've got a lot of stuff on it. The main thing, it wasn't communicating with the DSC. And the bulk of the messaging is because all these units, suspension, even even like uh, the handbrake, 
uh, the steering system, it's got active steering, AL, ICM, adaptive cruise, all this is on the bus, what is called Flex Ray. And that's Flex Ray. So everything you see in pink there now is Flex Ray, right? So what happens is when you've no comms on DSC, all of this, all the messaging between these units is disrupted because it can't receive or send messages. And that's why it's orange. So now if we start the vehicle test again, it should go green in theory. Well, you want it to be a fault finder. This is what it's all about. So we'll delete the fault memory now and we'll see what comes back. Now, if that fuse is blown again, it means that we're still gonna, ah, look. So now we're okay. We just to erase the fault codes. Now we've got comms with DSC. So now we need work out from that bloody list, which handles faulty. So it looks like to me, they've already disconnected that at some point in the past. Now after disconnected it and as the wire been trapped and started to short out, this is all the stuff I need to now check because it's all four door handles are on the same fuse line, which is bloody stupid, isn't it? So now we need to work out what's going on with that. So it looks like what they've done, they've disconnected the rear. But if you look at this one here, this, this hasn't been disconnected, but it's faulty. It's outside the value range. So we're gonna disconnect that because that could be also blowing our fuse because that's a current value that, and essentially it could overheat or it could, it, could, it could have water in it. So I'm gonna pull that out now, basically, and pull the rear passenger one out as well. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out now with my special torque screwdriver. Sorry about my dirty hands. I've been wearing gloves actually, but sometimes bloody gloves just get in your nerves, don't they? Right. What I do with it is I back them off and then I push them for one turn just so the screw don't get jammed. That's just my little trick now. Well, someone's done a really impressive job. I've never seen that as good as that. Someone's put heat shrink on and they've done a beautiful job at that. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like there is any issues with the wiring on the rear door. And it's simply just a bad handle. So let's hope that's okay. I'm, I'm wiggling wiring a bit now a good wiggle test if it blows the fuse and we've got an issue haven't we but i'll just do the same with front one with that one there now we'll put the same type of heat shrink on it's a nice idea i think i've got some of that and we'll uh, we'll evaluate it just actually recorded a video of me driving out sadly it didn't bloody record for some strange reason i've no bloody idea why i'm tired i've seen it's october and it's 21 degrees outside you wouldn't believe that would you so i fixed it it was the front driver's handle and essentially it was just shorted out well, intermittently, I guess, maybe get a bit of moisture in and bump, pop the fuse. So it's a bit weird. No, it's not weird. They do go, but I never know one to disable an entire system. Remember, 300, 400 fault codes, I don't didn't count really, but there was five pages of them. It's a lot. It's a lot of fault codes. So it's all tickety boo. I taught the steering ends, taught the steering end stops back in and all that business. So that's all okay. There's no warning lights now. All we need to do now is just uh, check the check control messages. Uh, info, status. And it's always good when you have no faults like that. So that job took me about two hours, I'd say, maybe. All in all. But I found the fault within 45, 50 minutes. But then it was a lot of messing around, you know. Now, if you can do that as a fault finder, with 500, sorry, 400 fault codes, 300 fault codes, whatever. It's pretty special. And that's what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for people who follow me who want to be fault finders just to learn by my example, really. I'm not by any means the best in the world, but I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at fault finding. Right, I need, I've need. i got a challenge for everyone. Share me, 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 uh, me TikTok and my YouTube as much as you can. I want 10,000 followers on me on my TikTok. I'm nearly at 5,000. And I want like 10,000 subscribers on my youtube channel as well it's really important to me because i really believe i'm giving good good advice good information people are really learning from me and now i'm gonna just go on i don't know tidy my tools up i'm so tired i'm working so many pissing hours i'm sick and tired of working so hard i've got to go home and assemble some furniture in a bit and my mother-in-law's moving so i have i've got an apartment for her i need to decorate that that weekend i'm just so exhausted i'm just so goddamn tired you know Personal life's just as busy as me bastard bloody private and me work life. You see, I'm just so tired. I'm just going to go on. I'm just going to go. I'm just too tired to even do anything. Thanks for watching. Hope you like that bit of fault finding.